What's going on internet? IG here again today. We're going to take a slightly different tack this time around and I'm going to be looking at the digital photography workflow for Linux. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few applications that I've, that I've been using and probably most of you use as well to manage digital photography from uh, SLRs or compact cameras everywhere from importing the photos to touching them up and exporting them, organizing them, tagging them, etc. So in some ways it's kind of a combined app review. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to import the photos that you've taken on the SD card onto your computer. The best app that I've found to do this is Rapid Photo Downloader. Uh, now it is in the default repos of Ubuntu 12.04 and later, but of course it does have its own PPA and again links in the description box below. The way that this application works is it brings up all of the photos and videos available on the SD card that you have inserted. It'll automatically figure it out where it comes from and then you can set up automatic PARs and a file hierarchy to send those photos to. So you go here under preferences and you can then pull up exactly where you want to put these different photos and videos. You can also give it renaming rules, you can tag them with different job codes, use different devices, device options, back up all of these imports automatically and also just handle how you want to do any errors that might crop up. It's quite a comprehensive but very simple solution. You can either select copy or move and then hit download it will automatically throw all of those photos in their respective folders in whichever folder you have specified. The default options are pretty safe and fairly logical. By default it is going to throw your pictures into your pictures folder under the year and month that it has imported them or that the photos were taken. So next you might want to look into organizing and tagging your photos and for that Shotwell Photo Manager does a fairly decent job. Now if you're on a KDE distribution then it's probably worth having a look at something like Digicam or Gwenview as these are pretty awesome applications as well. But on the GNOME or GTK side of things Shotwell is not a bad option for basic photo tagging and organizing. Mainly because you've got this nice events view here where you can scroll through the different events that you've taken with your camera and then it will just open up those based on the timing of those photos that you took. It does also have some basic editing and adjusting, enhancing and so forth and so on, but nothing too impressive. So then I suppose the next thing you would want to do is probably you would want to set an external photo editor and or raw developer uh, from the shot well preferences so that you have an instant access option to develop these photos further beyond the basic capabilities of shot well. Now for example you could set the photo editor for as GIMP but as this is I don't know I've always found GIMP to be slightly more centered on image creation uh, I've taken to using Darktable and Darktable is Think of an open source equivalent of Adobe Lightroom. Now Darktable does have its own PPA, but it is available on nearly every distribution out there. And it has some very fantastic options when it comes to developing photos. So you can see here, you've got a very nice histogram of all of the color curves. And you can change pretty much any element about this photo as well as this application will give you the exact metadata of the photo that you took. Darktable has come a long, long way since I last reviewed it uh, quite a long time ago. And its performance has come a long way as well. You can see that you can change nearly every element of the photo here and change it to your exact liking as well as adding some simple effects such as vignette, grain or graduated density. There's some fantastic tools available here so if you are serious about photography and you haven't seen Darktable before I definitely recommend you check it out because it definitely gives Adobe's Lightroom an excellent run for its money. Now you can also tether it with a camera if you do have a camera attached and then you can also geotag them based on, the, uh, based on a map here as well. I think Darktable is an essential tool to managing any serious digital photography. So definitely check that one out. And finally, once you are happy with the image, it's fairly easy to export the photos from Shotwell, changing the size and format, etc. And of course, if you're running Ubuntu 12.10 or later, then you are going to have the access to, you know, your Facebook accounts and your Google Picasa photo album as well built into Shotwell, which is pretty nice. For me, usually if I export photos, I will usually just export them to a folder of slightly reduced size so that then I can easily upload them without them taking too much time to get onto the web. The favorite thing that I like about Shotwell is the events view in the fact that you do have them grouped by date and time, but the fantastic options that you get in Darktable make it too good to pass up as a digital photo workflow. 
And of course, for importing, Rapid Photo Downloader does the job perfectly. So there you have it, digital photography workflow for Linux. Of course, all of the links for the, those different applications will be in the description box below. Most of them are available in the default repos of most good distributions. However, some of them may or may not be so. I'll put some links down there and you can go check them out. Let me know what you think about this format of video and let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions as to other workflow videos that you might want me to look into. Maybe video editing, document processing, note taking, etc, etc. It brings a more task focused approach to app reviews. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. Like the video if you did indeed like the video and it helped you out because it helps me out when you do. And subscribe if you like this content on a regular basis. Also, I asked on Google Plus a couple of months ago what you guys thought about fully loaded distributions. I'm talking distributions that are chocked to the brim full of quality software. And again, suggest ones down in the comments below because I am going to be doing a review and I'm going to start a new series on that once we finish off the old one of the cloud computing series. Thanks again. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.